Thank you for watching and welcome to chapter 13 which is called in context modeling. So in this video we are going to learn how to link sketches to other parts and modify them. So in context modeling is one of the most powerful feature of SolidWorks. So what it does is it allow us to tie one part and link it to another part. So any modification if whatever we do modification in the first part so automatically it's going to affect the second part and in this way we can create robust structures and assemblies just by changing one driving part so let's go and let's check how we can use in context modeling and in this video we are just gonna cover how we can link one sketch to another sketch so we already have assembly here which consists of two parts the first one is base and the second one is the lid so what i want to do is actually i want to fix the lid according to the base so what i want to do is if i'm going to modify the base so lid should be changed automatically so if i'm going to go into the lids and let's open the lid and let's check and if i'm going to go into the feature manager so you can see we already use a revolve feature here so in the revolve i can see there is a sketch so if i want to go into the edit sketch and you can see this is the main dimension which is three inches which is controlling the size of the lid so I want to reference this width of the lid with the with the base of the assembly. So whenever I'm going to change the base, so lid should be automatically changed. So I can go back and then let's go back into the assembly. But we need to change this into the assembly. So that's why I'm going to go back into the assembly. So rebuild, yes. Sorry for distraction, but if you think my videos are helpful for you, or if you are a serious SOLIDWORK learner, I am going to highly recommend you, you can go into the description of this video where you can find my course link in which I have over 10 hours of videos in which I explain each and every command in a detailed way. Thank you. I am back into the assembly environment. So what I want to do is I just want to edit my lid. So what I can do is I can right click on the lid and instead of opening the part, so there is a fourth option which is edit part. So I am going to click on edit part. And you can notice like as soon as I'm going to click the edit part. So there are a lot of options which are changed onto my environment. So the first option is this icon is changed. So if I want to go out of this mode, I can click on it and I can go back into the assembly mode and into the feature manager. You can see this part and all the relevant options to this part are turned into the blue. And I would like to go back into the revolve and into the sketch. And I want to edit the sketch because we want to edit the lid. And I can edit the sketch as you can see. So this is the dimension which is controlling the width of the layer. So I can just delete this dimension. And then I would just hold this part from here and I can just expand it a bit. And the next thing is which I would like to do is I want to just click on this. I want to select this and hold the control key. And then I want to select the outer area of my base. And then into the relations. I want to make a collinear relation between these two lines. So... I am, uh, this is what I want. I want to create a collinear between the lid line and the base line. So if I'm going to modify one, the base one or whatever, so both are going to change automatically. So I'm going to click the green check mark and then I'm going to go back. And then I would like to go back into the assembly. So I already create a relation like the outer lines of lid and the base and I made a relation of collinear. So now I'm going to go back into the base and I can open the part. And this is my base part. So I'm going to go back into the sketch, into the revolve. Under the revolve, I have a sketch. So I'm going to edit the sketch. So you can see this is the dimension, which is three inches. So I'm just going to double click on it. So if I want to expand it from three inches to eight inches, let's say, and I'm going to click the green check mark. So it is expanded. So I'm going to click OK and then I would like to go back. So as you can see, my part is modified. So this is into the part environment. So let's go back into the assembly environment and let's see, is it modified or not? So as you can see, like my base part is expanded, but my lid is still there. But there is option. I want to rebuild it. Yes, of course, I want to rebuild. So as you can see, like my lid is the lid size is automatically ad adjusted with the reference of base. So whatever the size or whatever the modification you want to change into the base. So the reference is going to follow that. So in this way, like we can control one sketch on the base of another sketch. So this is in context modeling. So what you need to do is you just need to edit a part into the assembly environment. So no matter for the base, whatever the dimension you want to change or whatever the dimension you want to modify. So what you 
need to do is you just need to create a relation between dimensions or any outer or inner surfaces wherever you want so what you can do is you can just control one part by using another part so this was all about in context modeling and in this video we learned about the sketches and in the next video we are going to cover how we can use layout sketches in in context modeling and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and if you are a serious solidwork learner then don't forget to check the course link in the description thank you sorry for distraction but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious solidwork learner i am going to highly recommend you you can go into the description of this video where you can find my course link in which i have over 10 hours of videos in which i explain each and every command in a detailed way thank you